Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. Today is day 18 of our 90 days of prayer. Now for day 18, we are praying against the spirit of complaining. Now, before we jump into this prayer, I have to say that I have been reading your comments. Uh, I've been listening to the things that has been coming out of some of your mouth and there's a spirit of complaining that is coming out. You know, we are complaining about you know, who God chosen for us. We are feeling like, you know, God is forcing these individuals into relationship with us. We are feeling like we're settling, you know, by being with God's chosen one. You know, we're, we are seeing this God ordained love story all wrong. Okay. And it's grieving the Holy Spirit. I need you all to understand this. Okay. We speaking against it. We saying things such as, I don't know why God chose me, you know, and if that is the case, then that just means you have you have more work to do on yourself. You got to heal that insecurity that is speaking out that concerning you. OK, but you must begin to understand that you will never enter into this promise with a complaining spirit. You will never, ever see your God ordained spouse again if you feel like or even if you see them as all wrong for you. If you don't see who God chose for you as his best, God would never release them to you. So we must begin to get this understanding. As you heal, you start seeing your God-ordained spouse correctly. As you start peeling back these layers, then you will start seeing, you know, and, and recognizing how I might think this counterfeit is what's best for me, but it's not all that good for me. It's not what God has for me. You know, you will start seeing the right thing. You will start seeing, you know, um, and, and, and embracing, you know, what God has in store for you. Okay. So I just wanted to say that because like I said, there's a spirit of complaining that has been sent out of, um, from the devil. And he's sending the spirit out because y'all getting closer to this love story. I need you to understand the attacks of the enemy. He, he see how close you are. And so now he's trying to have you see your own spouse the wrong way. Now he's trying to make you an enemy to your own promise. So we're going to go ahead and rebuke this enemy, rebuke the spirit of complaining. So Heavenly Father, we come right now rebuking the spirit of complaining off of this God-ordained love story in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask that you will forgive us for complaining about who you chose for us um, to be our God-ordained spouse, Father. Forgive us for feeling like you are forcing us into these marriages. Forgive us for not being all that happy, all that satisfied or excited about the spouse you chose for us. Forgive us, Father, for these things. You know, um, we think we know what's best for our lives, but you know what is best for our lives. You know what we need versus what we want. Everything we want not is not good for us, Father. And so we thank you for not giving us what, what we want versus what we need, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for giving us your best, Father, and we embrace and accept your best, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for choosing us, for loving us so much to go out and find a spouse for us, Father. We appreciate you, Father. We will not enter into this promise complaining, feeling frustrated, or feeling like we selling it for God's best. No, we will not correct our sight father i ask that you would correct your god ordained spouse's sight in the name of jesus christ renew their mind bring healing to their heart so that they can see this god ordained love story the way you see it father allow them to see their god ordained spouse the way how you see them father already healed already whole happy in purpose married family Allow your God-ordained spouses to see this story, this love story, the way how you see it, Father. Help us to see our God-ordained spouses the right way. In the name of Jesus Christ, forgive us for complaining. Forgive us, Father, for complaining and speaking against this love story, Father. We repent. We apologize to you, Father. We ask that you would forgive us, Father. We thank you for all of you have done for us, Father. We thank you for protecting us in this divine separation. We thank you, Father, for still speaking to us, still giving us instruction, Father. We thank you, Father, for never giving up on us, Father, even when we have given up on this love story. We thank you, Father. We say thank you. Put thank you in the comment section. We thank you, Father. We appreciate you. 
We appreciate you. We love you, Father. We thank you for just choosing a mate for us, Lord. You know what our hearts desire, and it desire love. It desire a marriage. It desire, well, to be married. It desire, you know, uh, our God ordained spouses, Father. And so we are coming back in alignment with you, Father. We're coming back into agreement with this love story, Father. And we just say thank you again, Father, um, for giving us your best. And we pray this prayer in your son, Jesus' name. Amen.